Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Okay. Excellent. Thanks for asking. No more tired? Ah, uh, yes. I'm still tired, but... Thanks God, today is the last day that we're having classes, so tomorrow I'll will rest. Okay. So that's okay. And how about you? Tell me. A little tired. Okay. <laughs> I, I hope the weekend to rest. Okay, so me too. Okay, perfect. So let me just. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so let's begin. Um, well, today we are going to begin with section five, the last section that we have for the for this module. And if you have already studied or started working on it. You can see that here in this section, we are going to be talking about family. So what can you tell me about your family? I have two brothers, only, only two brothers, and I, I live with my family, my wife, and I have two daughters, daughter. uh -huh. only two daughters. Okay, excellent. By any chance, do you have pets? No. Do you have pets? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I have, I have a dog. <laughs> Ah, yeah, I just heard it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, excellent. How about you, Beatrice? Beatrice, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi, Beatrice. Uh, what can you tell us about your family? No logro comprender su pregunta. Okay, um, we are going to start talking about family. So, what can you tell me about yours? So, for example, Francisco was saying that he lives with his wife, that he has two daughters. He has two brothers, he said, and that he has a pet. So what can you tell us about your family? No, es que no les puedo lo escuchar bien. Es que he estado teniendo problemas con el internet. Okay. Okay, so don't worry about it, Beatriz. So tell me, Carlos, what can you tell us about your family? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Um, my, wa my wife, um, my son's twins, um, um, ten, ten years, not twins, uh, ten years, I have a pet. Okay, excellent. So you have twins? Yes. Ah, okay, excellent. Okay. Ten, ten years, ten years. They are, they are ten years old, okay? The, uh, yes, yes, it should. Okay, perfect. In my, my wife, in my wife. And what does she do? Um, my wife or yes. you? Yes, no. Uh, my wife. Uh, it's, it's, 
degree account public. Ah, so she is an accountant, a public accountant. Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Thank you, Carlos. Let me okay, see. Can, what can you tell us about your family, Tamara? My, my family, uh, my, my mom, my, my two, my, my brother and my sister. Uh huh. My cat and my dog. And my dog. Okay. It's only dog. Only. Okay. Excellent. Uh, how about you, Selena? Mother, uh, two, two and my okay, perfect. And do you have a pet or any pets? Yes, one. Oh. Okay, thank you, Selena. So, Josue Mauricio, what can you tell us about your family? Mauricio? Mm, okay, so probably he cannot hear me. So Raquel, what can you tell us about yours? Hello. I lie with my husband, my son. Sorry, Raquel, but we can barely hear you. Casi no se le escucha. Hello? Ahora sí se le escucha. Okay. I live with my husband, my son, and my um, suegra. Your mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. I have pets, one dog and two turtles. Ah, okay, excellent. Thank you, Raquel. How about you, Jonathan? Uh, hi, teacher. Um, I live with my grandfather, with my brother, and cousin. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Thanks. How about you, Brian? Uh, I live in with my mother, my father, and I have two brothers, and and I don't have a pet. Ah, okay. Thank you. And how about you, Alex? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. I live with my father and my two brothers, and I had a pet, a duck. Okay, excellent. Okay, so this is just a review that we are doing about uh, family vocabulary. Some of you mentioned that you live with your husbands or wives, uh, your sons, daughters. You also mentioned you have pets. That's excellent because nowadays we consider pets as part of our family. And that's really nice. Okay. So we are going to watch the video that we have on the platform. Sorry. Hold on. Okay. That it's about family. So it says, tell me about your family. Okay. We are going to listen to a conversation. Then we are going to practice it. And we're going to try to do, well, to role play conversations more naturally. Okay. Vamos a tratar de hacer conversaciones más natural. Okay. So we are going to begin. You can see that we have here unit five, that it's about family. Uh, if you cannot listen, please let me know. And here we go. Okay. 
Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Okay, so here we have the, well, this is the short conversation. This is the first part of the conversation. Now we are going to listen to the second part. And she was making some questions that you need to answer. What are those questions? ¿Qué preguntas tienen que responder ustedes? Yes. Acerca de nuestra familia. Mm, our family or Rita's family. Okay, so listen, pay attention. Page 31. Exercise th answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? Okay, so those are the questions that you need to answer based on what you can listen, okay? So let's go. So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, so where do parents Rita live? Texas. Texas. Ah, okay, in Texas. Excellent. But in which place in Texas? We're in Texas. So what about Austin? Austin. Okay, in Austin. Excellent. Austin, Texas. Perfect. And what do they do? He is a teacher. Uh huh. And he is carpenter. Excellent. So Rita's mom is a teacher, and his sorry, her father is a carpenter. Perfect. Is it right? I visit Austin, Texas, teacher. Oh, uh, really? Year. Yeah. And how was it? Um, I visit um, uh, Colton, Aunt, in, in Austin, Texas. Last year. Okay. Um, 25 November, November, um, and then 5 December. 10 days, 10 days. Okay. In the United States. Excellent. So basically, you went for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thanksgiving and uh, uh, Black Friday. And Black Friday. Excellent. Black Friday. Yes. Perfect. Okay. And how was the weather like in Austin, Texas? Can you tell us, Carlos? Sorry? How was the weather? Was it um, cold? Was it hot? I don't know, teacher. No sé lo que me preguntó. ¿Qué cómo era el clima ya? ¿Cómo estaba el clima? Oh, it's a, it's a cold, a little, little cold. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, excellent. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, perfect. That's really nice to know. Okay. So now. What we are going to do is to practice this short conversation, okay? Where we are asking about families. So we're going to have, let me see, Raquel and Jonathan. Hi. 
Okay, Hello. so yes, you're going to practice with Jonathan this conversation. Okay, Re read. okay. yes, you're going to read it. Tell me about your brother and sister, too. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photo photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet him? Oh, no. My sister's, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, Raquel and Jonathan, choose two different people, please. Um, Francisco. Okay, so we have Francisco and... Selena. Selena, excellent. So, let's begin. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Selena. Oh, well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? Uh, I know she She's working on the project right now. Wow, and what what about your brother? Uh, he is a real What an what an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no, my sister awake. She is not working in the unit. And your brother? Uh, he's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, perfect. So now you choose two different people, please. Eh, Jose Mauricio. No sé si ya se podrá haber, haber conectado. Uh, he said that he was having problems. Hola, hola. ¿Te ah, sí, ya, ya ah excellent. Sí, es que como había escrito que tenía problemas. Sí. Okay. Y Brenda. Okay, thank you. So we have Josué Mauricio and Brenda. Uh, tell me about uh, your brother and sister, Brenda. Vamos a ver, o vamos a practicar, o sea, leer la conversación. Yes, you're reading the conversation. Okay. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am now sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. wow. And that about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What well, an um, interesting family. Can I meet him? Oh, no. My sister, Elway, she's now work, working in the young state. She's small. And your brother? He is traveling in the Amazon. Okay, excellent, thank you. So now you too, please choose two different people. Alex. Um, uh, Ajá, uh -huh. Alex. No, Selena already participated. Okay. Brian. Brian, thank you. Tell me about your about your brother and sister, Alex. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working. She's working on a very secret project right now. 
Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So now, since you have seen that we're practicing or we're talking about families, what I need you to do is the following. We are going to be working in breakup rooms. Let me see how many people I have. Okay, so one of you, well, some of you will be working in groups of three and probably some of you in groups of two, okay? And I need you to create a conversation similar to the one that we just studied, but with your own information, okay? This time it's going to be with your own information. So for example, let me see, um, this is just an example. So let me see, I need a volunteer. Do I have volunteers? Only one. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. So let's practice. Okay, tell me about your brother and sister, Jonathan. Um, I don't have sister, but I have brother, one brother. And oh. my brother, yes, my brother works in a gas station, right? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And okay. he works uh, one day and no, uh, he works uh, four days a uh, uh, to the week. Four days a week? Oh, three. Four days a week, yes. Ah, okay, excellent. And how about your mom? What does she do? Uh, my, my mom is housewife. Uh huh. Yes, and she is 45, 45, 45 years old, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> and just okay excellent and how about you what do you do jonathan um i i am i am employed employee and i employee so and i work i work um uh, every day okay thank you Okay, and can you tell me a little bit about your father? What does he do or where does he work? Uh, well, my father uh, w works in, in, in PNC. Uh -huh. he, he is a policeman. Ah, he's a police officer. Okay, oh, excellent. Police officer, yeah. Excellent. Uh -huh. Thank you. What a beautiful family, Jonathan. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so you could see that that's a, well, a conversation that sounds natural. Okay, una conversación natural. Eso es lo que yo necesito que ustedes vayan ya practicando. Que nos vayamos despegando ya de lo que son cuadernos o diálogos y que lo vayan haciendo ya así naturalmente o con más fluidez. Okay, so I'm going to assign you right now to the breakup rooms and i'm going to be there visiting you okay so let's begin or do you have questions no teacher no no okay so let's go
Um, 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 my family live in Santa Ana city. Okay. My, my wife is North. My daughter have 12 year old. 12. 12 year old. Um, my father is in USA. Really? Um, and my mother is a California USA. My sister lives in Sonsonate City. One sister? N no. I I have four a sister, no brother. You only only men in the sun. Mm. Only yes. Um, very good. And you? I have two sisters, not brothers. My father and my mother live in San Marcos. Okay. I have one son. He has five years old, live with a husband in mother-in-law. Okay. Tamara. Hello, Tamara. Hi. <laughs> Uh, I can tell, me a, <laughs> tell me about your families. Okay. Uh, uh, I live with my mother, my sister, and my brother, but I have other sisters. I don't know uh, uh, where she lives, but my sister, uh, she. Uh, eight years old, and my brother have. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. Tamara, your sister. My sister have a uh, eight years old. Eighteen. Eight. Ocho. <laughs> yes, it's my little sister and my um, brother. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. And my brother uh, have six years old. Ten. Ten. Only fifteen. So, Ra Raquel, how old did you say your son is? Is five years old. Okay. Okay. Uh, remember, when we are talking about age, we use the verb to be. You don't use the verb have or has. Okay. So you cannot tell me that my sister, for example, has eight years or that your daughter has 12 years old or that your son or my son is or has sorry has five years old because that is grammatically incorrect okay okay when we are talking about age we use the verb be okay we don't use have or has okay okay i don't yeah. have uh, okay. i'm confused i'm a little confused about it okay don't worry about it 
but just remember that with age, we use the verb be. So you can tell me, I am 25 years old. You are 18 years old. Your sister is eight years old and so on, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. I have two brothers. I don't have sisters. Um, my 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 first brother works in Ironman, and my second brother worked in in the United States. It's mechanic of air of aeroplane. Creo que se dice. Aircraft. Huh? Aircraft. Yeah. Mechanical. Aviones. Okay. No. Yeah. You can say aircraft. Let me just. Air. Sorry. Mm, I don't know what's happened here. Okay. So aircraft. Okay. And the, uh, okay. and the pronunciation is mechanic. Mechanic. Yes. Ah, okay. Mechanics aircraft. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. My two brothers are me mechanic aircraft. Thank you. Thank you. Linda. Oh, perdón, no, que no la escucho. Oh. I live with my mom, my dad, my and my two brothers. Do you have pets? Uh, I don't have pets. Oh. And you, Carlos? Uh, I leave my wife, my, my sons. Um, I had a pet, uh, a dog. Ah, okay. Ahora la pregunta que dijimos de dónde trabaja. Where, where does your wife? Uh, well, no. Where that no, come on. What, but mm -hmm. what does your wife do? Uh, my wife is accounting, um, uh, shoes, uh, for, uh fabrica de zapatos, no sé, dijimos que es como se decía, factory shoes, factory shoes. Factory. Factory shoes. Oh, no, it has shoes revenge. Factory. Okay. My, okay, shoes okay. factory. Thank you, my, thank my you. Wife You're welcome. Is accounting, my wife is accounting in shoes factory. Is an accountant. Okay. It's an accountant. Yes. Yes, uh, the insurance factory. Okay. Okay. Uh, what does your mother do, Brian? My mother is a housewife. Okay. And what does your brother do Jonathan? Well, he works in gas station. He's a, he's an employee, employee. 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 Okay. Employee. employee. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm great family, uh, Brian and Jonathan. Thanks. Thank you.
Okay, so we are going to listen to you and we are going to check what you've done. And I need you to tell me if I have volunteers, yes? Okay, thank you, Gerardo. I can see that you want to start. Excellent. Okay, Gerardo, we are going to listen to you. Hello, I am agroindustrial engineer. I work as independent consultant in food processing. My sister is nurse and my, and my brothers Works, work, work in the field, and my mom is housewife. Okay, excellent, Gerardo. And who were you working with? Perdón. Con quién es trabajado de sus compañeros? Con Selena. Raquel y Jose, Josué Mauricio. Okay. So choose any of them, please. Raquel. Okay, Raquel. So what can you tell us about Mauricio's family? Uh, Mauricio, um, he uh, for Sister Mauricio have have or has has ah. has, has, has four sister and not has not have brothers and doesn't have and doesn't have brothers okay he has mm, one son 12 years old. Your father and mother live in USA. My? My parents? Your. Yeah, your, my. Your. Excuse me? Okay, so you're talking about my parents or Mauricio's parents? No, Mauricio's. Your fathers. Okay, okay. El your lo hace que sea directamente hacia mí. Si está hablando de mm -hmm. él, sería his. His. Yes. His. Sí, si no está hablando, es como que hablara de mí. No. His. Okay. His father and mother live, live. in USA. Live in USA. And his wife is a nurse. And la, uh, he's live in Santana. And he lives. He lives in Santana. Okay, excellent. So Mauricio, now you tell us about Selena's family. Uh, Selena no estaba en en el grupo, teacher. ¿Quién era la otra entonces? Sorry. Tamara. Ah, Tamara. Ok, es que las tengo casi que, que a la par por eso. Sorry. Ok, so tell us about Tamara's family, please. A Tamara live in San Marcos. Uh, No, no recuerdo las demás descripciones que ella nos mencionó. Ajá. Ok, so Tamara, can you tell us a little bit about Raquel's family, please? Raquel, eh, 
she have uh, she two, only sister two sister uh huh she have a two sister she have um, or she has uh, she has a two sister um uh son uh, he was you and I don't know what word uh, the sister, her sister. Aha. But she is a girl. Ah, I think that uh, they are a counter. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only this remember. <laughs> Oh, okay. I remember. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tamara. So let's see. Now we're going to have uh, Carlos through. I'm Jonathan. I'm Brian. Okay. So, Carlos, can you tell me about Brian's family, please? Um, his, Brian, his, um, his has mother has his father um two brother creo okay. <laughs> two brother two brother Brian or one brother two brothers okay two brothers yes two brother teacher only ah oh, father uh, uh mother is um house house housewife housewife yes and father um, um, employee. An employee. An employee. Ah, okay. Yes, Thank sir. you. Okay. Okay, so Brian, can you tell us about Jonathan's family, please? And Jonathan, I remember uh, he has a brother who works in a gas station and he is an employee. Okay. I'm coaching. I'm coaching, Brian. I live oh, coaching. Yes. And he has a coaching. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So now you, Jonathan, what can you tell us about Carlos' family? Uh, I, uh, well, Carlos lives with his wife and his son. Uh, I think he has twins or twins. I don't twins. know. Twins. 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 Yes. And his wife is a count, a con, uh, an account. Accountant. Shoes factory. Uh, yes, she's she's an accountant. Uh, she's factory. Uh -huh. In a she's factory, right? And uh, and that's it. Okay. I don't remember. No. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. So we are going to have the last group. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we have there Francisco, Alex, Brenda, and Selena, right? Uh, solo si estuvimos Selena, Beatriz, nosotros. Ah, y Alex. Alex creo que se incorporaba hasta el final, pero ah. no, no, no interactuó. Ok. Sí, teacher, I'm sorry, I lost my connection with the uh, internet. <laughs> ok, don't worry about it. So let's listen to you guys. Ok. Eh... Uh, Beatriz live with her lives. husband lives lives with her husband uh, she don't have babies she she doesn't have babies um, she have she? she has she has one brother and one sister um, his husband is mechanic. 
um, only. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say his or her husband? Her, hus her husband. Is a mechanic. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Francisco. So, Brenda, tell us about Selena's family. Teacher, para ser sincera, casi no la escuché. Okay, so Selena, what can you tell us about Francisco's family? Francisco uh -huh. Her, his, his wife. He, his wife is pharmacist. A pharmacist. Pharmacist. And he has two brothers. I'm sorry, para decir el qué? Eh, para decirme, los nombres de sus hijas son... Ah, his daughter's names are... His daughter's names are Adriana. Y el otro no, no lo recuerdo. Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. So, how about you, Alex? What can you tell us about your family? About my family? Yes. Um, well, my brother works in a call center, teleperformance. Uh -huh. And he has a girlfriend, so he's, he traveled a lot of to, in, to San Miguel. Um, my other brother works in bakery, in a bakery. Uh -huh. And I had two sisters, but I don't live with them. And my bro and my father is como I don't know teacher como um how can I say in English uh, la, los que construyen no sé uh, Mason Mason yes pero como construir casa y todo eso albañil albañil verdad ajá exacto yes no Mason. no albañil so okay, a construction Mason. a construction worker. Ajá, uh -huh, construction worker. Ah, okay. Yeah, um, Mason es albañil. But if no, you're no, saying no. construction worker, okay. Construction worker, yeah. Ah, okay. Um, just that. <laughs> okay, excellent, perfect. Um, okay, just feedback. Um, remember that when we're talking about the person, we need to make use of the simple present tense, okay? Well, in, if we're talking in simple present tense. So, for example, Raquel has a son, for example. He is five years old. Uh, Gerardo lives with his family, for example. Um, Alex has two sisters, okay? So be careful on that. Tengan cuidado en eso, porque sí he visto bastante que estamos olvidando la, lo que es la tercera persona. And also with age. Recuerden que cuando mencionamos o decimos la edad de alguien, usamos el verbo to be, okay? We don't use have or has. O sea, yo no les puedo decir I have or Gerardo has uh, 20 years old, for example, because that is grammatically incorrect, okay? 
Siempre, siempre que hablamos de edad, usamos el verbo to be. ¿Ok? Any questions? No question, teacher. No questions? Seguro que no hay preguntas. Okay. So this is just for general knowledge, okay? So I'm going to be saying uh, some family members in Spanish, and I need you to tell me their meaning, but in English, okay? Necesito que ustedes me digan lo que es, pero en inglés. So, for example, if I talk about cuñado. Brother-in-law. Okay, brother-in-law. If I talk about suegro. Father-in-law. Father-in-law. Okay. So, first of all, we have brother-in-law. That we said it is cuñado. Okay, then we have father in law, that is? Suegro. Okay. And well, how do you say sobrina? Cousin. Cousin. Sobrina. Oh. Ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cousin. No. Cousin is primo. Cousin, yeah, is primo or prima. Yes. Niece. Ah, niece. Yes, no es nice, niece. You were saying nephew. What is the meaning of nephew? Sobrino. Sobrino. Okay, sobrino. Yes, nephew. Okay, let me okay. see another one. Um, hijos. Sounds. In general. Daughter. Okay. Daughter is hija. Son. Hijo. Pero en el caso que ustedes digamos tienen ambos, hijos e hijas, por ahí lo mencionó alguien. Children. Excellent. Children. Okay. Yes. Children, hijos, ¿verdad? Es decir, hija e hijo, ¿ok? Y como digo, hermanos, es decir, ambos, hermana y hermano. Siblings. Excellent. Siblings. Aquí es cuando yo hablo de ambos. So, for example, I can tell you that I have four brothers and then, 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 let me see, and six sisters, for example, ¿ok? So we have brother and sister. And in general, we have siblings. Okay? Perfect. Um, nieta. How do you say nieta in English? Grand daughter. Grand daughter. Daughter. Okay? Thank you. Entonces, nieto es? Grandson. Grandson. Excellent. Let me see. Um, cuñada. Sister in law. Sister. Sister in law. In law. Okay, perfect. Let me see. Me hace falta, bueno, me hacen falta varios. How do you say suegra? Mother in law. Mother in law, como dicen yerno. Y para referirse a tíos, uh, ya sea tío o tía. Oh. Uh, yeah, so for example, if we're talking about uncles, mm -hmm. que solamente son ellos, ¿verdad? Si hablo de tías, oh. aunts. No. Yeah, en este caso no hay uno así general como el caso de hermanos o hijos. Ok. Sorry. Ok. Let's see. 
¿Qué más nos hace falta? Nuera, tía, Hijo y yerno, tía. Ajá, nuera y yerno. How do you say nuera? Daughter in law. Ok. Daughter in law. Entonces, yerno es. Son in law. Son in law. Ok, perfect. Let me see. Um, and how do you say abuela? Grandmother. 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 Abuelo? Grandfather. Grandfather. Hermanastra? Stepsister. Okay, step sister. Um, let me see another one. Who are we missing? Ah, hermanastro. How would that be? Step brother. Okay, step brother. Um, what else? Para decir abuelos, no hay. Yeah, abuelos en general. Grandparents. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Y abuela que es grandmother y abuelo grandfather. And I think that we have them all. <coughs> Creo que los tenemos a todos. O nos hace falta alguien. Let's see. We have brother-in-law, father-in-law. Sister-in-law, mother-in-law. Madrastro. Ajá. How do you say that? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Step. Father. Father. Mm. Okay. So, stepmother is going to be? Madrastro. Excellent. Perfect. Sister bisabuelos. Ah, how do you say bisabuelos? Great grandparents. Le agregamos lo que es la palabra great. great. Y para bisnieta, su bisnieta, sería great, great grand daughter, si es Don. niña, and great, great grand grand son. son, if it is a, a boy. Ok. Vaya, ven, hemos sacado bastantes familiares aquí. Ok, excelente. Ok, ¿any questions? No. No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, excellent. So if there are no more questions, we are going to stop here. It's time already. Um, and I'm going to see you on Monday, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Good, teacher. Thank you for coming. See you on Monday. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.